Pakistan's Himalayan glaciers are melting at the fastest rate in human history. Nearly 36% of its ice sheet will be gone by 2100. So ye aapko jahan hum khade hain ye to nazar nahi aayegi mujhe lagta hai. Wo pani jitna jama shuda pani hai wo ek saath nikalta hai. In a battle for water in Kashmir, a nuclear flashpoint between India and Pakistan. ये बड़ा एक रेयर कमोडिटी होगी बढ़ती आबादी और इसी पर जो है ना मुल्क कल जंगे लड़ेंगे और एक दूसरे को बर्बाद करेंगे इम्पैक्टिंग द वाटर नीड्स ऑफ मोर देन टू बिलियन पीपल इन साउथ एशिया With rising heat waves in mega cities, increasing water consumption, communities are fighting over dwindling supplies. Is it done? Basically, we're inside uh, illegal theft area, and in this, governments are believing. Yes, sir. Sir, 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 could an ambitious tree planting drive save the melting glaciers? So we want to restore 10 lakh hectares in Pakistan. Karachi, Pakistan's largest city with a population of 20 million. The economic nerve center of the country is brought to a standstill. A severe heat wave strikes the southern port city in June 2015, with temperatures as high as 49 degrees Celsius. The blazing sun causes total mayhem. Unaware and unprepared, more than 2,000 people across Karachi perish from dehydration and heat stroke. Hospitals are ill-equipped to deal with such a calamity. The Abbasi Shaheed Hospital mortuary runs out of space. As a result, mass graves are dug to dispose of the bodies. Memories of 2015 have come back to haunt Karachi today. In 2019, the heat wave has returned with average daytime temperatures hitting 49 degrees. The Sindh government declares a citywide emergency. We head out to the Abbasi Shaheed Hospital's heat stroke unit. To our surprise, there are no heat stroke patients today. The all of sudden I the logon ko mentally tor pe prepared nahi the. Sabse aham to ye baat thi, jiski wajah se number of patients bahut zyada report huye the, aur aaye bhi the, aur usme expiries bhi hui thi. Ab ke kyunki last 2015 ke baad 16 hai, 17 hai, inme bhi jo hai time to time ye cheeze heat waves aayi. मगर उसमें क्योंकि अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम अवेयरनेस इतनी हो गई थी जिसमें लोगों ने इससे बचाव के तहत जो है इस हीट स्टोक के पेशेंट का फिलो 
रिपोर्ट कम हुआ था हुआ होगा लामाला आए होंगे हुए होंगे मगर वो नंबर ऑफ पेशेंट नहीं थे जिस तरह से उस वक्त आए थे Karachi government officials are also better prepared. Mobile units equipped with water sprays are deployed strategically during the hotter hours of the day. Despite the 49 degree temperature today, no casualties are reported. This is the new normal in Karachi. An international climate report puts Pakistan at number 6 on the list of top 10 countries most affected by climate change. And in mega cities like Karachi, lack of trees, miles of asphalt roads and tall buildings have increased heat absorption. Making matters worse is an unchecked growing population. in poorly planned yet densely populated settlements Karachi um, is a spectacular example of population explosion to the small coastal city which became the capital city and it is now the largest city so population you have more people you need more water you have more shops and factories you need more also mismanagement Karachi did not manage to protect its water courses. With rising temperatures, the massive population of Karachi consumes more water. Karachi needs 1.1 billion gallons daily to supply water to roughly 20 million residents. But the water board, the city's water distributor, is only able to provide 550 million gallons per day. Muhammad Arif is a resident of Karangi. His tap runs dry. फिर भी हमारे पानी नहीं आता है। सही है। फिर पता चलता है कि यार आप लोगों की जो पुरानी लाइन है ना, वो बेकार हो गई है। ठीक है। वाटर बोर्ड के वो हम कहते हैं कि यार हमारी पुरानी लाइन बेकार हो गई है। आप इसको हमारी लाइन ना रिपेयर कर देंगे या इसको दूसरी डलवा दें। तो वाटर बोर्ड हमें जवाब देता है कि हमारे पास इसके लिए फंड नहीं है। Broken water distribution lines multiply the problem for Karachiites. At 2 a.m., Arif arrives at the main distribution pipeline of the government, a hundred meters from his home. He plans to divert water to his home with the aid of hoses and a handheld motor. अभी इससे आगे मजीद नहीं जा सकती तो यहाँ एंड कर कर मोटर को एंड कर कर अपने घर पे पाइप पानी पहुंचाया जा रहा है एक मोटर घर पे चल रही होगी ये मोटर चल रही है ना यही मोटर एक घर पर भी चल रही होगी जो इसको खींच रही है मतलब दो दो तीन तीन मोटरें हमें लगाने के बावजूद घर पे कहीं जाके हमें पानी मिलता है और आपके सामने देखें इसमें फ्यूल लगता है देर आर नियरली अ मिलियन पीपल इन दिस नेबरहुड ऑफ करांगी अलोन एंड एवरीवन थर्सडे कम से कम छः से आठ घंटे हमें लगते हैं एक घर का पानी भरने के लिए ये मैक्सिमम ये अभी जो आप लोग देख रहे हैं ये बहुत कम लोग हैं इससे कहीं ज़्यादा लोग आपको रात बारह बजे के बाद यहाँ पर मौजूद मिलेंगे मतलब पूरा सिस्टम पूरा निज़ाम हमारा धर्म बम धर्म भरम हुआ है पानी की वजह से सो वॉट जस्ट द वॉटर बोर्ड कराची इज वॉटर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर हैव टू से बेसिकली इसमें ट्रांसमिशन का मसला है कि कराची की पानी की जो डिमांड है वो 1200 मिलियन गैलन पर डे है उसमें नेचुरली एवोपरेशन भी है लीकेजेस भी हैं पलफ्रिज भी है इसके अंदर तो वो जब इसके अंदर से हम माइनस करते हैं तो कम वेश हम इसके अंदर 400 साढ़े चार सौ एम जी डी पानी देते तो यूँ समझें कि इसके अंदर वन थर्ड पानी जो है हमारे पास अवेलेबल है और रिमेनिंग हमारे पास पानी अवेलेबल नहीं है कराची वाटर एंड सीवरेज बोर्ड जो है वो इसको मैंटेन करने की कोशिश करता है As water becomes rare and difficult to access, a black market is thriving. According to the Karachi Water and Sewerage Board, 42% of water is lost in distribution before reaching consumers. So where does all this water go? 
We go in search of Karachi's water thieves for an answer to this question. After much deliberation, we finally convince a water thief to take us to his theft point. We film the process secretly. So, our time is limited. So, we are going to interview one interview. We are going to interview one interview where the water is distributed. Okay, let's go. Farhan. We are going and we are going to film this. Now, let's leave him. Come on. Maybe you are going to stay there. This is the inside uh, illegal um, theft area. This is how water is stolen in Karachi. The water thief takes us to a congested slum. In the meantime, the mastermind arrives to explain how it works. <laughs> कौन कनेक्शन दे रहा है? इस ज़मीन में बोर किया? ये बोर हुआ है क्या? अच्छा ये बोर हुआ है ये पानी बोरिंग का है। बोरिंग का पानी है। ठीक है। ये बोरिंग का पानी जब मोटरों से निकाला ज़मीन की ज़मीन के थ्रू लाइन जारी नदी में। नदी में? नदी में के पास इनके टैंक बने में पानी के उल्सेलर so this is normal, right? Yes, it's normal, but in this area, the water is also stolen from the water. So, I was just saying that the water is sending the government here, it's going to go from here. It's also happening, it's 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 happening. So, this area is here, there's water? Yes. There's water? It's not so much as it is. It's okay, it's okay, because this water is coming out of here. अच्छा सिर्फ इतनी सी कहानी है टोटल ये कहानी है पानी उधर ठीक है समझ गया परसेंट इलाके को आ रहा है कितने परसेंट तीस परसेंट पच्चीस परसेंट इलाके पे आ रहा है और सत्तर फीसद वहाँ जा रहा है और उससे फिर वाटर बोर्ड का मिले हुए सब मिले सब मिले हुए और वो जो पानी जब बिकता है तो इंडस्ट्री को तो आप पैसे बन जाते हैं सिंपल है ये तो कोई पानी माफिया होगी वो बैठी है हाँ हाँ वो बना रही है तो और इसका कोई रेंट मिल जाता है या इसका क्या मिल जाता है इसका कितना एक रेंट मिल जाता है पर मंथ है या पर मंथ ठीक है और इसमें गवर्नमेंट सब मिली भी है एक काम हो रहा है कैसे हो रहा है खाना माना सब तो देते हैं वो लोग कैसे जो पानी वाले जो ले रहे सबसे तो अच्छा ये कहाँ कहाँ तक कट जाता है वाटर बोर्ड जाता है पुलिस को जाता है किसी को सारे डिपार्टमेंट्स को जाता है अच्छा और अगर � Water that he then sells at exorbitant rates, while government officials get their cut. जब भी demand supply के अंदर फर्क आता है, तो ऐसी चीजें होती हैं। चाहे वो गंदम में हो, sugar में हो, rice में हो, किसी भी चीज में, क्या community में, तो होता ये है कि आज कराची में पानी पूरा हो जाएगा, ये सब चीजें खत्म हो जाएंगी। और मैं इस बात से कतई नजर बिल्कुल इसको मैं डिनाय नहीं करूंगा कि काली भेड़े और ये जो करप्ट लोग होते हैं ये हर डिपार्टमेंट में होते हैं। Theft, corruption and disrepair hamper water access for millions in Pakistan's largest city. It costs millions of dollars in losses to the national exchequer. This stolen water is diverted from the poor to the rich, who can pay more. A short-term solution the city developed for its water needs were water tankers that now control much of Karachi's water distribution. More than 10,000 tankers operate in the city under government control, making an estimated 50,000 delivery trips to consumers across Karachi each day. But with few checks and balances, excessive bribes kick in when heat waves hit Karachi allowing tanker drivers to jack up rates as they will. Delivery of a 1,000-gallon water tanker now costs between $12 and $18 per trip. This is a steep price, especially for larger, poorer families, who spend a third of their income on stolen water. 
A global study projects that nearly 5 billion people will live in water stress regions by 2050. While the United Nations estimates that water shortages can displace hundreds of millions of people as early as 2030. Water is a massive political issue in Karachi and corruption is in the middle of it all. With one political party depriving the water needs of another party's constituency. It is a bit of reality. I'm a disaster. In uh, Karachi, the water is a big deal. And this is a big deal. I'm going to go to Karachi. 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 I'm going to go किसी को मिल रहा है तो बहुत मिल रहा है पानी किसी को नहीं मिल रहा तो वो बूंद बूंद को तरस रहा है तो इस बुनियाद के ऊपर एक फसाद बरपा होते हुए देख रहा हूं एंड इट इज रियली अलार्मिंग वाइल सॉल्विंग कराचीज वाटर क्राइसिस सीम्स लाइक अ डिस्टेंस पाइप ड्रीम द रेजिडेंट्स ऑफ कराची आर लेफ्ट विद नो ऑप्शन बट टू बाय स्टोलन वाटर आफ्टर द ब्रेक वी एम्बेड विद द कराची वाटर टास्क फोर्स इन देयर एफर्ट्स टू स्टॉप वाटर थेफ्ट Karachi, Pakistan's largest city, has an epidemic. To capitalize on climate change-related water shortages, Karachi's black market for water is thriving. Millions of dollars worth of government water is being stolen and sold to people who can pay a premium. So the Karachi Water Board has stepped up their efforts. Chief Security Officer Tabish Raza heads the task force against water theft. अभी हम लोग जा रहे हैं ये जो इसाकाबाद है आजीजाबाद बंगोरी इधर हमने पहले भी आइडेंट तोड़े थे लेकिन सुना है दोबारा स्टार्ट हो गए तो उनको दोबारा तोड़ने जा रहे हैं और इस वक्त हम उनको तोड़ेंगे और जो भी सामान होगा वो सब जब्त करेंगे क्योंकि वो क्योंकि हम मुंगबरी के नेटवर्क में चल रहे होते ह तो हम अब बगैर आपने किसी को बता क्योंकि मेरे स्टाफ को ही बता हम लोग कहाँ जा रहे हैं ठीक है हम तोड़े जा रहे हैं और कहीं ना कहीं बनते जाते हैं तो ये जो है ना चोर पुलिस वाला खेल है आप जितना भी तोड़ो क्राइम कम जरूर हो जाता है खत्म नहीं होता इसी तरह हमारा भी है कि हम तोड़ते हैं लेकिन वो पता नहीं इनको पानी के काम में इतना क्या इंटरेस्ट होता है कि हम तोड़ते हैं वो रिस्क लेकर दबा लगाते हैं as soon as we reach the location, the thieves are spotted, and the raid begins. Let's go, let's go. Now, you can see. This is broken. 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 How much is broken? This is broken. ये ये उठाओ लाइन लाइन तोड़ ली ये 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 निकालो वो मैं बोल दूँगा तुम टेंशन नहीं लो एक ये नहीं ये इसको भी जाने इसको भी पकड़ो जी बल्ला बल्ला है वहाँ चल रही इस तरफ थोड़ा रोशिक और वहाँ से फिर ये पानी इधर पड़ा इसमें बढ़ते इसमें बढ़ते हैं और यहाँ से ये अब ये यह स्टोर कर लिया पानी मोटर चला के अब मोटर बंद कर दिया अब इन्होंने इस मोटर से पानी लोगों को टंकी बनाने शुरू कर दिया चलो 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 
A water motor is confiscated in the raid. As Tabish explains, the kind of money changing hands in Karachi's illegal water industry. Tabish has received another tip off from a neighboring town. A textile factory is stealing and reselling water. factory the illegal pump from the bore is taken out and confiscated. This is a daily routine for Tabish and his team. They arrest the perpetrators and destroy 10 pumps a day. But in a city of 20 million people and with limited resources, the Karachi Water Board can only play catch up with the thieves. And climate change will only worsen Karachi's water woes. Climate change will mean more floods, it will mean more droughts, it will mean uh, heat waves like the one we saw in Karachi. Two years ago, it will mean reduction in the quantity and reduction in the quality of water. Both are serious. There will be significant health impacts. Soaring temperatures in South Asia are reaching peak levels due to rising greenhouse gas emissions. The heat is melting the water wall of South Asia, the Himalayas, that supply water to the rest of the subcontinent. The glaciers in northern Pakistan, in the disputed region of Kashmir, are the biggest ice sheets outside the polar regions. These ice sheets are melting. We drive 15 hours from Islamabad to Gulmit, a village in northern Pakistan, to investigate its impact. According to a new study, 36% of the glaciers found in the region will be gone by 2100. Sitara Parveen is a glaciologist who has studied these ice sheets for a decade. This was once the area which had plenty of water from this glacier because the glacier was much higher. And even up to the level of these moraines, you can see here this moraine, it shows that the, the level was much higher. So the water was uh, recharging these uh, irrigation channels. The glaciers are very sensitive to climate. They act according to the temperature and the precipitation. When it's hot, it melts a lot. Since 1988, the snow line in northern Pakistan has receded by 1.1 kilometers. What scientists and glaciologists thought was impossible in 1,000 years has happened within 30. If global emissions stay at current levels, future generations may never see ice in South Asia.
These glaciers are also important for these farmers who are living here, who depend on these agricultural for their livelihoods. Because you can see this, uh, that this is very uh, moisture deficit area, less rainfall in these plain areas where uh, this glacier, the people uh, practice agriculture. So it's not possible without the water from these glaciers. Nestled in the Karakoram Mountains, as high as 23,000 feet, village communities like these are vulnerable. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We welcome you today. We welcome you today. We welcome you. Lakes forming within the glaciers often burst, causing flash floods, destroying life and property downstream. Shaukat Ali, a local resident and tour guide, takes us to the Gulkan Glacier. Due to pollution, fine particles of black carbon are deposited onto white glaciers, speeding up the melting process. And this black whole GB के अंदर बहुत कम आपको black glaciers मिलेंगे नजर आएंगे ज़्यादातर white glaciers आपको नजर आएंगे लेकिन उन में उन black glaciers में कोई uh, six or glaciers are black. There is also a Gulkin glacier. Bhi jo hai. Ye bilkul, aap dekhen, bilkul snow se, ye covered by snow. It is covered by snow. One reason is that it is the base of its base. It comes from the snow. It comes from the snow. The snow comes from the snow. After a three-hour trek over ice, we arrive at the Gulkin Glacier, one of the largest in northern Pakistan. Streams of water run down into the crevices, collecting at the bottom of the glacier. As the sun blazes onto the ice sheet, Shaukat points out, this water collects into a massive lake within the glacier that can burst any time and flood the village downstream. First, here, you दाएं बाएं से पूरे आइस जो है वो मेल्ट होके इस एक जो यहाँ पे जा, बहुत ज़्यादा गहराई में उसने अपने रास्ता बनाया हुआ है और जाके नीचे से फिर वो नीचे दरिया तक पहुँच जाता है तो अगर इसके रास्ते में पत्थर आ जाएँ जो ये पत्थर गिर रहे हैं वो पानी जितना जमा शुदा पानी है वो एक साथ निकलता है formed in the neighboring Shispa glacier that forced the government to react. Local officials hurriedly built a concrete wall to prevent the water from bursting the banks. But they stood no chance in front of the savage wall of water that came hurtling down at the village. Tariq remembers that fateful day. The war basically banana ka purpose ye tha ki jo remaining zameenein hain makanat hain logon ke unko bachana tha basically to chand jagahon pe unhone jo banaye hain deewar hain wo qadre nakafi hain ab is aage main aapko baad mein dikha bhi sakta hu logon ki kai zameenein char char che che canal zameenein kat ke beh chuki hain is is aur intizamiya ki taraf se abhi tak koi assessment to ho gayi hai उसके बाद कोई कंपनसेशन का जो लोगों का डिमांड है उनका जो डिमांड मुतालबा है उस पर भी कोई कागज इवन ए सी के दफ्तर से आगे मूव भी नहीं किया कागज ने तारिक बिलीव मोर देन थर्टी होम्स वॉश्ड अवे एंड इफ प्रॉपर प्लानिंग वॉज डन देन सेव्ड देखें जी ये बहुत मुश्किल काम होता है कि जब आप कम्यूनिटी के पास चले जाते हैं तो आप हंड्रेड परसेंट उनको सेटिसफाई कर रहे हैं जितने भी वॉल्स बने थे अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह मैं ऑन रिकॉर्ड कह रहा हूँ कि इसमें से 20 परसेंट भी आपका वॉल डैमेज नहीं हुआ है 80 परसेंट वॉल अभी एज इट इज़ कांस्टेंट वहाँ पे 20 परसेंट आपके 200 फीट 200 फीट इज़ नथिंग वो डैमेज हो जाए हमारा पर्पज़ ही यही था कि ये घर बच जाए This black glacier is physically moving five to six meters a day downstream to the village due to rising temperatures. And local communities are concerned if it's going to destroy homes again. 
अभी भी चूंकि दस बारह दिन पहले हम लोग आए थे यहाँ पे टूरिस्ट के साथ वो यहाँ पे फासला इतना ज़्यादा था कि अभी मुझे अंदाज़ा ये हो रहा कि चार से पाँच मीटर कम अज़ कम ये इसकी मूवमेंट है तो अगले हफ्ते या अगले संडे को ये दस दिन बाद आएंगे तो ये आपको जहाँ हम खड़े हैं ये तो नज़र नहीं आएगी मुझे लगता है इसको भी पैक करेगा The region is expected to face mass water shortages in around 50 years when glaciers become too small. After the break, we take you to the highest militarized zone in the world, where India and Pakistan are battling a war on top of a glacier. Pakistan has been bestowed with five of the biggest rivers in the world. The mighty Indus, Jhelum, Chenab, Ravi, and Sutlej that have cascaded down the plains of the Punjab for hundreds of years. These rivers are formed by melting glaciers in the Karakoram and Himalayan ranges. One such glacier is nestled between India and Pakistan. in the eastern karakoram range in the himalayas it's called the siachen glacier and is claimed in full by both pakistan and india it's been disputed territory after the two countries split in 1947 the contended area is a sheet of ice nearly 1000 square miles in total unable to settle the land dispute diplomatically troops were amassed on top of the glacier by both countries Pakistan and India have spent millions of dollars a month to keep troops posted here At 6700 meters it is the highest militarized zone in the world The dispute over land between India and Pakistan transcends downstream to the waters that continue to flow from India to Pakistan. After partition in 1947, India and Pakistan were unsure of how to share water. Hence the Indus Water Treaty was signed in 1960 between then Indian Prime Minister Jawahar Lal Nehru and Pakistani President Ayub Khan in Karachi. Brokered by the World Bank The treaty allowed both countries to use the water available in the Indus system of rivers. The two countries because of historic problems and uh, animosity and hostility could not agree on joint management. So it was considered that a second partition should take place. Pakistan got the rights to use the three western rivers, the Indus, Jhelum and Chenab exclusively. while India won the rights to use the three eastern rivers the Ravi Sutlej and Bias but today tensions between the nuclear neighbors of a Kashmir is putting pressure on this water treaty the hindu nationalist bjp led by prime minister modi has rattled things modi now wants to build dams to block the flow of water into pakistan making the indus river a hot spot that might escalate into a nuclear war i think the next fight would be on water actually the world is going to fight on a water and we never realized indus water treaty when it was done in 70s that was the time that we could solve this problem but india always more authoritative never obey the rules even if they are internationals so this treaty remained what would i say it it remained just in the books pakistan semi arid climate means more than 90% of harvests depend on irrigation you are going to have pakistanis receiving less water so when you receive less water you blame the supplier so there is a potential uh a uh, source of conflict and the secretary general in his report the un secretary general made a specific reference to india and pakistan and said that climate change is likely to put 
pressure on the Indus Water Treaty, which has served the two countries well for almost 60 years. Despite four full-blown wars, India and Pakistan have never had a water war. But the situation in the disputed region of Kashmir is escalating. A majority of Pakistan's rivers originate from Indian-administered Kashmir. And in August 2019, India did the unthinkable. India's dams released nearly 6 million litres of water per second into Pakistan without intimation. The Pakistani province of Punjab was flooded, drowning hundreds of acres of agricultural land. Islamabad reacted angrily. It claimed this unexpected release of water into the river Sutlej that flows from India to Pakistan was part of an attempt by New Delhi to flout the Indus Water Treaty. This was followed by the revocation of Article 370 in 2019 to eliminate the special status of Indian-administered Kashmir, an area claimed by Pakistan. Land of control की तरफ जाने का जो उसको हमने बड़ी मुश्किल से जो अभी तक काबू पाया हुआ है, लेकिन कब तक? As geopolitical realities mix with a potential water war, the reaction in Pakistan-administered Kashmir is intense. We travel to Pakistan-controlled Kashmir at the front line of this complex battle, where tempers are reaching boiling point. Such rallies in Pakistan-administered Kashmir have become routine. Frequent protests are putting pressure on the Pakistani army to liberate Indian-administered Kashmir and secure the supply of water for mainland Pakistan as well. So Modi has tested the reaction of Kashmir. What will be the reaction of Kashmir? What will be the reaction of Kashmir? What will be the reaction of Pakistan? What will be the reaction of Pakistan? What will be the entire world? So it's a larger agenda. And I think that from this agenda, the whole of the human rights is a threat to this whole world. The human rights are a threat to this whole world. The two old civilizations, the world of the Indus and the Ganges, will be the fight that the Lord has increased. So this will be the fight. और ये इतने में जो इसमें डेड बिलियन लोग रहते हैं ये कहाँ जाएंगे? The government of Pakistan administered Kashmir fears that Prime Minister Modi may usurp the Indus Water Treaty and leave Pakistan in a drought-like situation. In a never-ending conflict between two nuclear-armed countries, more than 50,000 Kashmiris have lost their lives. Will the water dispute claim more? After the break, we look at Prime Minister Imran Khan's billion tree tsunami that's being built as the idea that could save the region.
December 2019, New Delhi is in the grips of an intense smog. The air quality index reads as high as 1,000. The smog transcends the border over to parts of Pakistan. A blame game erupts between politicians on either side of the border. It never stopped its uh, kisan to, to burn the rice husk. It never stopped its people for the, or the bhatta mazdoor for a brick kilns. Next time, through our foreign ministry, for this Kashmir issue or for any bilateral talk, third agenda should be this smoke and all this pollution between India and Pakistan. And again, I'm saying, Pakistan has done a lot, India has not. NASA satellite data shows a heavy concentration of fires on the Indian side and far fewer on the Pakistani side of the border. The end result was a deadly smog and downgrading of air quality across the subcontinent, particularly in India. Cricket star turned Prime Minister Imran Khan's surprising response grabbed headlines. His party, the Pakistan Tariqe Insaf, spearheaded Billion Tree Tsunami in 2014 at a cost of $169 million. This was the Pakistani government's response to the challenge of global warming in South Asia. Pakistan has the lowest tree cover in the region, giving it more reason to reforest. A billion trees were planted from 2014 to 2018. But Prime Minister Khan isn't stopping here. He has vowed to plant 10 billion trees in the next five years of his government. 10 billion tree tsunami. But before that, it was actually a billion tree tsunami. Uh, it was started by the Prime Minister Imran Khan, and at that time, he was not a Prime Minister. And we had a one province government that was called KPK. Uh, this was the first green initiative that our country started in 73 years. It was one of the different and the finest uh, project that any government on provincial level started. So it was a billion tree tsunami. And it has made the marks on the, on the history and on the world. The plan is to increase the forest cover in the country and attract rains that will reduce rising temperatures. In total, Pakistan has restored 350,000 hectares of forest and degraded land to surpass its bond challenge commitment. Pakistan's Vision 2025 is aiming to work on better water management as well. Due to traditional farming techniques, two-thirds of irrigation water is lost through system leakages across the country. That's why farmers like Ashik Bangash have stepped in. A resident of Islamabad, Bangash decided to introduce drip irrigation into Pakistan's traditional farming system. To save the time, and uh, water and uh, to give water to the plants up to the standard requirement. Nor less, nor excess. Ye uska ek basic wo hai, ke aap agar open denge to pani zyada chala jata hai. Pani aur fertilizer, ye dono aisi cheez hai, jisne ye samaj liya, bas wo kamyaab ho gaya. Agar zyada diya, to bhi nuksan, kam diya, to bhi nuksan. Pakistan is among the six countries that will be most affected by global warming. And a rising population calls for measures to protect natural resources. In the past 10 years, the government has government a lot of facilitated. That is, if you have a crore of one crore, you have to pay for 80 lakh government pay kar rahi hai, pure system. Pe. Rep irrigation, solar system, or high shed. और 20 लाख फार्मर को पे करना है तो फार्मर को भी आसानी हो जाती है और मूल की जो बचत है पानी की वाटर रिजर्वायर की वो बहुत ज्यादा हो जाएगी has been marked as the year when Pakistan may turn into a water scarce country unable to meet its water needs Existing reservoir storage capacity 
cannot sustain Pakistan's population boom, while river flow has also been reduced over the years. Pakistan can get more economic, social, and environmental benefits from better water use. But it's subject to continuous reforms to improve water use efficiency and service delivery, and create awareness among the general public. In Lahore, Pakistanis are rising to the challenge to put pressure on politicians across Pakistan to do more. People don't understand how bad it is. There are, just this year, there were floods, uh, unexpected rains in Punjab that wiped out a substantial portion of the wheat crop and that affected people's livelihoods. And for a country where a quarter of the population is at or near the poverty line, a single event like that, one rain, is the difference between getting a, a square meal a day or not. In a country beset with problems, only 4% think that climate change is an issue. Rafay wants to change this attitude. He's taking his family to the climate march to raise awareness amongst kids in Pakistan. Uh -huh. so, should be okay. so you're going to be leading the march? No, we're going to be helping organize it. Uh, there are children who are leading the march. Uh -huh. Students, not us. Right. So please send the response. It's safer. Paper and pen. All right, so we've got March in Mia Valley currently under uh, progress. The youth of Pakistan are concerned about their future when the impact of climate change may worsen. Pakistan may be a Meshuru Kardia, and it's been spectacular. Of the Cleveland Pentalis, Shehere, Charlie's Pentalis, Shehere, Lahore, Pakistan, and the Nikolay, or Aim Yeti, K. Ham the Kai Logunko, K. Ye, a elites ka issue nahi hai. More than 5,000 marches take place worldwide along with Lahore on the same day. The climate strike is the largest ever collective call to action in the world. My government is the biggest polluter in history and should be doing something about it, but instead, President Trump doesn't even believe in climate change and wants to pull us out of the Paris Agreement. I find it completely unacceptable, especially because my friends and in-laws here in Pakistan are the ones who are already suffering the most from the impacts of climate change. We global warming is happening. The north is melting. The ice is melting. और हम किस किस खतरे में हैं और किस तरह से हम डिफॉरेस्टेशन के जरिए अपने लिए जहर पैदा कर रहे हैं। पापुलेशन जो गन पोल्यूशन बढ़ी जा रही है बार बार। हमारे पास जगह नहीं है, हमारा वेदर खराब हो रहा है आज तक तक। इस दफा की सबसे लंबी गर्मी गई है हमारे। पाकिस्तान कंट्रीब्यूट्स लेस देन वन परसेंट ऑफ द while it must develop a robust foreign policy that allows it to effectively negotiate climate issues with its neighbors, Pakistan's march to solve its climate problems has begun.